Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's review, I finally get my hands on a 2020 Corvette C8 with the Z51 Performance Pack. This car has been something that has just shocked the world for price, performance, and it's just overall look. And without any further ado, let us get into this car right now. So here it is guys, a 2020 C8 Corvette with the Z51 Performance Pack. This car has just been, I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's the looks, the price, just everything. It, it, it just, it totally beat my expectations for when uh, it came out. And I got to say the Corvette team nailed it with every part of this car. Um, and this is just the stock Stingray. So we'll start up here with the headlights. So you got beautiful daytime running lights and then you have LED lights as well. Now, like I said, it does have the Z51 performance pack. So it does have a little bit more cooling um, and upgraded brakes as well. But uh, it does have the two front cameras. It also is a 3LT. So it does have pretty much a lot of the great things that you would want, especially on the interior and a little bit more trim pieces. It doesn't have the carbon fiber uh, ground pack. Um, obviously those have been delayed when they first came out, but there are some aftermarket options you can get. Now this is in black with the cyber gray stripe, which I wasn't a huge fan of, but it is growing on me. Coming into the center here, the Corvette logo has been updated. They have moved the two flags uh, closer together, which looks a little bit more clean. And the same look is on the other side as well. This one does have the Trident rims on it with the red brake calipers, which we will go over. But the whole front end of this car is just so sleek and it looks so badass. I love every part of it. Every angle is beautiful. Um, even if you just get a base model, I mean, the price, you can't even compare it to any type of supercar. It's just so, it's the best bang for your buck, I gotta say. So that is it pretty much for the front. We do have some nice grill pieces here that help direct air obviously into the coolers and into the back to help cool the motor since the C8 doesn't have the front motor. One thing that I love so much is obviously you can open the trunk with the key or right under here, there is a button, there it is. So you can open this front trunk up, the trunk, and you do have some decent storage to maybe fit a luggage in here. We have a button just in case a kid gets stuck in here and a 12 volt charger. Now to fill up your washer fluid is in here too. And I believe that is your brake fluid over there as well. So then to shut it, pretty simple. Just close it just like that and it clicks right in. So that is it for the front. Let's take a look around the Corvette C8. Okay, so taking a look around the C8, as you can see, it's pretty low. Um, I did mention that I like these rims. I do like them in black a little bit uh, better, but I would go for the brushed aluminum look. Now, you are sitting on Michelin tires. Um, they aren't Pilot Sport Cup 2s. Um, they are Sport Pilot Sport tires. But this tire size is 245, 35R19s. So they are 19-inch rims here in the front. Um, you don't get carbon ceramics. I assume that the Z06 probably will um, with the Z07 package, but that looks pretty mean. I've seen some pictures of it and some videos and it sounds pretty menacing. So that is it for the rim. Like we, like I said too, when you do get Z51, you do get performance brakes and you can pick what color your brake calipers are. Coming into the mirror, the mirror looks pretty cool. Um, it's a little bit further out than the previous generations, but it looks good. They fold in as well, which is automatic and the sleekness of the door looks pretty awesome. Now, I do love how they have the door handle underneath here. It kind of gives it a clean look. Now, we do have, obviously, the opening here to allow air to go back into the engine bay to help cool it, of course. I do wish that carbon fiber ground package, ground effects package, um, you can kind of get a little bit more carbon fiber, but there are some aftermarket options to have it a little bit, stick out a little bit more to kind of give it a complete look. But this looks pretty good. I'm not gonna complain too much about it. Gas cap is on the driver's side, so you just open that. Now you do need premium fuel to put in here because it is a performance car and it needs performance fuel. We'll take a look at the side profile of it. 
it just looks so good. It looks like kind of like a McLaren 570 to me, just the way it looks and how it goes to the to around the back, and it's a quarter of the price. Coming into the back of the tire and rim here, again we have the Trident spoke rim in the back. Now the tires are staggered, well the rims actually, so Z51 performance caliper there, there is your e-brake, and the tire size back here is 305, 30, or 20, so they are staggered, so you can't really move the tires. You can maybe do a box setup potentially, but I wouldn't recommend it. That is it for the tire there, and we'll take a look of the side of it, kind of near the back. I just love everything about this car, it is so cool. And the problem is the price right now, people are driving up the price like there's no tomorrow. And you're probably going to have to overpay for one if you do not factory order. That's just the reality. But if you really want it, then you have to pay the piper a little bit. That is it for the side, guys. Let's take a look at the rear. Alrighty, so coming into the back here of the C8 itself, we can see we have a little bit of the C7 sticking out, I find, with the tail lights themselves. And I think they look good with the overall look of the car. I do wish they had the circle ones, um, as a, like the C6, but this is what you get right now. Uh, C8 Z06 looks like they have the same setup, but that is a whole different story. So we'll start here. Tail lights obviously are LEDs. It does have dual exhaust on each side, so quad exhaust. There is some more venting in the back as well. Now you can lift up the trunk with the key fob, or uh, there's a button there I will show you. Now this spoiler here is only for the Z51 performance package. You can also upgrade to the high wing if you'd like, which I think personally looks a little bit better. But that is it right here. To open the trunk, we go to the first E and right underneath it, you can click the button and it opens up just like that. Now here is the LT1 motor. You have the 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque made it to a eight speed dual clutch transmission this is the only motor right now for the stingray and it is freaking really quick uh, zero to 60 right now is just under three seconds and that is for the base model c uh, c8 now i can't wait to see what the z06 is going to be like but for right now this is what we have you do also have more storage back here. Chevy claims that you can fit two golf bags back here. Uh, depending on which golf bags you're looking at, I would say that is debatable, but that is the storage back here. One thing to note, to take off the top, because this is a Targa, you can put it back here, but it sacrifices space. Uh, the convertible top I like, I don't mind. Um, I think it looks better with the top down, but you can't really see the motor, which um, should be interesting to see mechanics work on that. Now, this does have the magnetic ride, as you can see the cables here sitting on top of the struts. And that is pretty much it underneath the hood of the C8. We will close it up like this. It does have a suction mechanism here that it just kind of eats the back tailgate up. Stingray logo here. And then the rear camera mirror is mounted right at the top. I like the glass here. Um, it, it, it's just nice to actually see the motor itself. And that is pretty much it for the rear. Let's take a look actually at a cold start and then let's take a look at what it sounds like revved up a little bit in track mode. I think that sounded pretty cool to be honest. Now since we're done with the back, let's take a look at the cockpit of the C8. So coming into the cockpit of the C8, there is a door handle under here which is nice and sleek. And opening it up, now opening it up you have a totally different cockpit compared to the C7 and it is so luxurious and it looks so much better. So we'll start with the door panel. There is leather pretty much everywhere. There's not one piece of plastic except for the buttons themselves but we have all nice soft touch leather, red stitching carried throughout. We have the Bose speakers in here, uh, memory seating, 
and then here's your door switch to open the door uh, your trunk and your frunk uh, knobs are here as well lock and unlock and then all nice material here your door switches or your window controls here your power folding mirrors and then how to control your mirrors are here as well but all nice it feels good and it feels very luxurious this is what a Corvette should be like now coming into the cockpit area where the seats are this is a 3LT and it does have the competition seats which this is such an issue to get in and out my fat ass it just you hit your thigh here and it's it's something to get used to obviously when you have the car but it is a little bit of a pain in the ass um, but then you realize you're in this nice car and you don't care about it anymore uh, you have your lumbar controls here and then seat adjustments and that's that you have a nice door sill uh, stingray logo here as well and some other controls we will get into heads up display that kind of thing parking brake and all that other stuff is all down there aluminum pedals as well it does also have this manual release just in case um, if you get stuck in the car because everything is battery operated like the doors you can push this and it opens up the doors and that is pretty much it before we hop in but I do like this setup here the red seat looks good with the black as well but that is it let's take a look inside the cockpit all right so being in the cockpit of the C8 I'm gonna start it up because it is a little cold and I want my heated seat on and it does have easy exit and entry so as you can see the steering wheel moved and my seat moved as well I'll push the steering wheel back but this cockpit looks so good so so good so we'll start here by putting my heated seat on this is we'll, we'll go over that that's one thing I have a complaint about but the steering wheel feels good it's a flat bottom top and bottom and it feels really nice um, it's not too big not too small it feels very luxurious it's all Alcantara here you have the top of here the steering wheel is red so you know where you are turning and what is the top does have metal pedals back here too which before it had plastic in the C7 which I had to complain about but now they're metal and they feel nice to the touch they feel really good this whole steering wheel cockpit feels awesome uh, a couple controls we'll go over here it has a heated steering wheel which is awesome in the 3LT uh, controls here control the front infotainment and it is a digital display so you can design the display as you'd like you can go through you can simplify stuff um, I like the simplify one it just kind of makes it a little bit more simple and it just gives you the speedometer now that is that uh, you have voice command call hang up call pickup you have volume controls here as well favorites and then your cruise control is here the Z mode is basically like a my mode um, and you can configure it to what you'd like which I think the that having that there is a symbol to obviously the ZR1 that will be coming out which I think is awesome the steering wheel feels good we have uh, your light controls on this side and then your wipers on that side now coming across the dash here we do actually have a heads-up display which is I will zoom so you guys can see uh, over there and it's controlled through the side functions over here so you can see kind of what you want there there's that setting that setting and that setting I think that setting is awesome you can even show your G's so I will zoom out so we can get back into the cockpit area all soft touch material here carry throughout red stitching it looks so good but it's very driver focused as you can see you know how this is here this line of buttons which we'll go over that but it's so luxurious I love it everything in this cockpit feels awesome the screen itself everything like it's driver it's pushed towards the driver it's it's the driver or nothing pretty much volume controls over here you have your home button as well the 8 inch touchscreen here is pretty awesome uh, it's got uh, the new infotainment with GM audio that kind of thing um, we can hit music your phone uh, your navigation as well uh, you can go to your climate controls too uh, the camera it doesn't have a 360 camera it has a rear and front but it has two front cameras so what you can do is you can go to the rear quality is amazing like usual that's your front so if you are parking next to a curb it's like a bird's eye view of the front and then you can also have that and then the side cameras as well just so you can see kind of where you're parking and then your lines are here as well so that's that we can hit the home button on there same type of deal with all of the GM products um, you have your performance data recorder as well and that will track lap times but very intuitive very responsive I have to say it is a great system now that's that coming down into the center console this is your shifting knobs so you have park reverse neutral drive and then M for manual and all you do is just kind of move up and then put it in reverse 
and then uh, park. That's it. Uh, this is your trash control, and this is your front camera when you click that. This one does not have the auto front leveling uh, button where you can kind of have the Corvette move up if you are near a speed bump or anything like that, but it will memorize them, which is pretty cool. Uh, this padding here, I'm going to get out of this for camera view. This padding here houses the dial for your uh, modes. So when you come into here, you can switch into, there's my mode, which we're in. You can go to weather. You can go, and it kind of quiets down. There's baffle thing in the exhaust. So you can go to tour. It changes the speed, uh, speedometer too. There's sport, so the exhaust just kind of opened up. And then there's track. So that's that. You just turn the knob here. And it's all Alcantara, red stitching all throughout, all beautiful material. They didn't really cheap out at all uh, when it came to this car. Down below are your cup holders. And then these are the rack of buttons I kind of have a complaint about. Um, they're just, it feels like they were just added there. Um, I'm sure a Corvette owner is going to get used to it. It does have tool zone climate. So there's up here and up here climate controls. And then all throughout here is other climate controls here. But it's just all climate. And it's kind of like I said, it kind of looks like it was added there. But... I wouldn't mind it, I guess, in this case, because it's you're in a vet, so who cares? Down below here, if I move over, because there's not much space in this car, jeez. Uh, push the button here, and then your center console comes up. Um, we have a mask in here. <laughs> then we have a USB-C, USB, and then an aux cord. And then over behind is your wireless charging with some uh, with a compartment to put your phone. So they kind of put it here. You got wireless charging, which isn't too bad. But that is pretty much it for the interior. Uh, this is your rear camera mirror that I was telling you about. So um, if you do have uh, some fogging in the back, you can always just kind of do this and you'll be able to see. And then we can adjust, obviously, zoom in, zoom out. You can see a little bit of the spoiler and then you can move it up or down, whichever you prefer. So we can move it up like that and we can see behind you, which is pretty cool. Just flip it back to go to normal. Visors, pretty small. Um, if you're a bigger person, the visor might bl uh, blind you a little bit from what um, is coming in front of you, but that is that. The target top up here too is uh, Alcantara and red stitched, and it's customizable too, depending on how you ordered your vet. And then you have your OnStar and hazards up top, but that is it guys for the interior. I absolutely love this car. It is worth every penny. Um, I don't think it's worth 130 that Canadian that some people are charging. But I think it's worth, you know, hundred grand for sure, or under hundred thousand. It's the best bang for your buck for the car, and it's got, it, it's really exceeded everyone's expectations. Um, I just can't wait to see the Z Z06 version of the C8 will look like. But that is pretty much it, guys, for the interior. Let's hop out and give you my final thoughts of the exterior. All right, guys. So that pretty much sums up my review of the 2020 C8 Stingray. It's one of my favorite cars on the market right now for a sports car, a two-door coupe or convertible. I think it's the best bang for your buck right now in the market, and it has exceeded my expectations and a lot of people's expectations. Uh, if you can get one for retail price and not, uh, you know, market price, then please buy one because you won't be disappointed. Um, other than that, I don't think I would pay, you know, 120, 130 Canadian because um, that's what they're going for nowadays. But I think it's worth uh, what, you know, retail market is, uh, MSRP wise. Uh, just the market right now is crazy, as you know, the used car market and um, new car market can't really get cars now. But other than that, I think this is one of my favorite cars in the market and I can't wait to see the Z06. So let me know what you guys think in the comments of this car and we will see you in my next video. Have a good one. Cheers.